Denmark says it is readying new measures against cultural and religious-based attacks following pressure by Muslim leaders. Qatar condemns a deadly attack targeting a political rally in Pakistan. Qatar Red Crescent Society launches the Little Hearts campaign in Iraq. And finally, hosts Qatar unveiled the official logo of the World Aquatics Championships. Hi, it's Ali. This is The Roundup. Here are today's top stories. Denmark's foreign ministry sent out a statement on Sunday vowing to tackle the growing number of reckless Quran-burning stunts that have angered the Muslim world. The Danish government said new measures are being proposed against cultural and religious-based attacks, which would allow them to intervene in these special circumstances. This comes after a rise in Islamophobia in Europe in recent months, which has seen multiple attacks on the Holy Quran in countries such as Denmark, Sweden, and the Netherlands. The statement by Denmark came after a discussion between the Danish foreign ministry and the chief of the organization of Islamic cooperation. Qatar has vehemently condemned a recent suicide bomb attack in northwest Pakistan that killed at least 44 people and injured hundreds more. The bombing struck a political rally in the Bajor district on Sunday. The bomber detonated the device near the stage where senior leaders were located before tearing through the rest of the rally. In a statement released on Sunday, Qatar's Ministry of Foreign Affairs reiterated the nation's unwavering stance against violence and terrorism in all forms. Now, Qatar Red Crescent Society has deployed a volunteer medical delegation to the northern Iraqi Kurdistan region for the Little Hearts Initiative. The five-day project will benefit 70 children with congenital heart defects and medics from the convoy will perform cardiac catheterization procedures on young patients. And finally, authorities in Qatar have made a splash after unveiling the official logo of the 2024 World Aquatics Championships. The emblem, which is in a turquoise color, signifies the five continents and is designed to bring the world together under the official slogan, United by Water. The competition is set to be held in Qatar in February next year and will bring more than 2,000 athletes from 190 nations. Thank you for joining us. For more of our stories, head over to our website www.dohanews.co. Have a great day.